Hello and welcome. Thank you for checking out this video. Is everybody staying safe? For the people who do not know me, my name is Rochelle. I've created a brand online called the DIY Affiliate. And I can be found here on YouTube and all other major social media platforms. I can help you as a new entrepreneur or a new business owner. And it doesn't matter how old you are and it doesn't matter how much experience you have. If you are willing to learn, I can help you to build an affiliate marketing business. The only difference between you and I is the amount of research that I have done, tons and tons of research to be able to create these tutorials and offer them to you as a person who's watching. And the only thing that I ask is that if you have found this video helpful, and I'm sure you will because I know myself doing transcriptions or doing these subtitles wasn't one of the easiest things to do and it was very boring. So I have put together a new way to be able to do your subtitles in which you use your notepad and your emojis keyboard. And if you don't know where your emojis keyboard is, you do a right click and it should be right at the top of the list, it'll say emoji. And also there's another type of keyboard in which you can have as a browser extension. And I talk a little bit about that too. Closed captions or subtitles are very important and they will help your video to be able to rank on the YouTube search engine. And in turn, what will happen is YouTube will be recommending your videos more because they see that you have put a lot of work into your video, whether it be in a thumbnail or it is in your subtitles. YouTube sees the work that you do and it helps you to rank higher in the search engine. So stick around. I'm getting right to the video. Just the facts. Let's get down to business. YouTube Studio. Go to Videos into the details of the video. Over to More Options. And you can do this while you are processing your video. To English by YouTube Automatic, three, you'll see the three dots. And here you can download a copy of your captions and subtitles. Your subtitles automatically open in Subtitle Edit. I use a program. It is called Subtitle Edit, and I will leave that in the description for you. And what I do, and there are many different options and features in here, but what I do is I just export it as plain text. Make sure that there is no formatting, none. And then save. Give your file a name. Save your file. Go to your notepad Click New Window, open your file that you downloaded and saved. Highlight what you would like to find and replace. Click Edit. Find Replace, click Replace, and this is what you are looking for, and this is what you are replacing it with.
pull up your emojis that you have saved either from your emoji keyboard, from your browser extension. You could use your emoji keyboard, which is located on the top by your browser. And I will leave the link in the description. This is your emoji keyboard. you would like to use for your video button and the period together. So when you are in your notepad and you want to put an emoji in, you would just click find your windows button and your period, click them together and you will be able to get your emojis. And you can put your emojis in any place. I find it easier just to use, just to choose my emojis and then to copy from my notepad where I've saved my emojis. And then you know you can paste your icon, your emojis in anywhere. So this is the formula here, is you would then highlight, edit, click replace, replace with what you would like to see. And you can also add an emoji if, if you want to. And you can either replace just the word, just the one time word, or you can replace all of the same. I find this is the easiest way. And then when you're done, you would then save as and then go into your subtitles your video subtitles in which you will find in the details and then you click on the subtitles and you go over to where it says English automatic and then you open let's just refresh that you click on edit in classic studio click studio choose edit and it will ask you this do you want to overwrite your existing English automatic subtitles? And you click yes. And yours will probably not be English, be whatever your language is. Upload a file. If you want to change the timing, you can change the timing in here. And also, down here at the bottom. So you want to upload a file. You are going to upload the file that you have created in your notepad. This is called a transcript. So you would click choose a file And once you have chosen your file, it will appear here. And then you would then click Upload. This will open up a new window. And you can further do more emojis or more capitals. And then click Set Timings.
is the finished product and it took me between 10 and 15 minutes to do the transcriptions. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for listening to me. And thank you for being a subscriber. And if you have not subscribed yet, then please like this video if you have found it helpful and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you are notified of all new videos that I post. Once again, thank you for your time. Stay safe until we hang out again. Have a wonderful day.